didn't make it in time for Christmas gift giving, but Origin has delivered Wing Commander 4 just in time to warm the hearts of gamers suffering a long, cold winter. The game starts with a dramatic introductory sequence that's nearly a half hour long. It all starts with an innocent civilian transport and its escort being destroyed by a rogue band of pilots from the border worlds. They unleash a mysterious device upon the transport, destroying it from the inside. <laughs> well, I'd call that a successful test. Let's go. <laughs> Malcolm McDowell once again plays Tolwyn, who addresses concerns about the escalating conflict with the border worlds. Let me remind you that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. Mark Hamill is back reprising his role as Christopher Blair, the heart of the tiger. After retiring, he's brought back to active duty in order to help the cause. Hope of resolving the tensions that are growing at the very fringes of our society. Good evening. It only takes a few minutes for him to get into trouble. This is Colonel War Hero. This is how you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. Be lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. <laughs> You're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. Longtime fans of the series will be happy to know that Tom Wilson is back as Maniac, who remains the most interesting character in the entire series. Sore. <laughs> but a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Maniac? Oh, yeah, I know. But you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. Maniac isn't the only character fans will recognize. Eisen's back. Yes, they've been taking care of me. It's a different task now, but that means I still need good pilots. As is Vagabond. You've seen Captain Eisen? Laying low. I don't blame him. As they begin to unravel the mystery, Confed itself begins to unravel as an outsider takes over for Aizen. Will we be joined by the captain, sir? Captain Aizen has been assigned to other duties, Colonel. Orders from Confed. But he's still in command of the ship. His new obligations will not allow him to continue his previous functions. I now command this vessel. Any problems with that? Blair and Maniac begin to notice changes on the ship. Maniac. Same to you, buddy. I said, some of these guys, not exactly friendly. And Blair decides to do his own detective work. He discovers another new arrival, and his suspicions grow deeper. At this point, Eisen defects to the other side, and then Blair and the gamer have to make a decision that will affect the rest of the game. Captain Eisen's already taken these steps. I doubt he'll come back willingly. Use any means necessary, Colonel. Captain Eisen must not be allowed to leave this system. He must not be allowed to rendezvous with border world forces. Dismissed! spoil things from here on out, but the path taken leads to multiple endings and multiple plot branches. You'll meet new characters and be forced to sit through a ridiculous number of cliched speeches from Blair. Let's get this thing out of here! Come on! Let me tell you something, Cat Scratch. Wars are like bombs. The fuse gets lit before you actually hear the bang. And sometimes
sometimes the fuse can be pretty long. The dialogue remains a bit on the stale side, and the characters come off as stereotypes rather than realistic characters, as evidenced by the totally evil big bad guy Seether. Toe and toe and toe. Has he said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, Maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Your first mistake was in not killing him right away. Who? Eisen or the Colonel? Take your pick. What's going to happen now? It's a good question, Captain. First of all, you're going to get reassigned. I'm going to continue with my plans. With the added pleasure of killing the heart of the tiger. <laughs> Despite appearances otherwise, the game isn't just about video. The combat sequences are slightly enhanced with better AI, graphics, and sound. There are a number of land-based missions that are considerably improved from Wing Commander 3. Other new features include new ship types, one of which becomes available only if you win a certain mission, and the usual minor improvements. There's a shitload of small, low-density projectiles at extremely high velocity. Just paint your target and let her rip. Overall, this is still a must-have game for anyone interested in state-of-the-art gaming experiences. Yes, it's flawed both in certain video segments and repetition of missions, but it all becomes irrelevant because Wing Commander 4 pulls you in and doesn't let go. What you see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. Talk to you later. <laughs> Who did that? Now, if they just do the Maniac movie.